James Vaughn is James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for a review of this beautiful Brut Rosé coming from Russian River Valley. Stay tuned. So I love the clear glass on this bottle. I think it's completely elegant. Uh, clear bottle to see the gorgeous uh, Brut Rosé. Uh, the black on here is really, I think, remarkable as well. So this is very different from the green bottling program. And I think it goes, uh, you know, again, a, a huge distance to distinguish itself, giving a point of difference in terms of the great packaging. Back panel for your inspection right here. And, um, you know, I love this place. I think it's fantastic. I think it's great because, and I recommend a visit. And you know, when you visit, definitely make reservations and taste food along the way to pair excellently chef-inspired food, uh, chef-artistically-driven food with uh, winemaker-driven wines. I think it's a great pairing, and uh, believe it or not, here in California, that's a rare thing to do, to taste uh, great food at the winery you're visiting, which is very unusual compared to other wine countries around the world, but we're lucky to have that here at J Winery. So you definitely make a reservation when you go. Before you get there, uh, you really want the optimum experience, and uh, first of all, it's great service and great wines, and they have a full assortment of uh, you know, wines that come from the region, such as Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. They have a Pinotage, uh, Pinot Gris, and of course, a great suite of sparkling wine. So this one here, it's 66% uh, Pinot Noir, 33% Chardonnay, and 1% Pinot Meunier. I love that. Now, other wineries in California, sparkling wineries, do produce uh, and utilize Pinot Meunier, but I think there's a commitment on every single bottle that I'm aware of that comes, or almost all bottles, I shouldn't say every single one of them, but almost all bottles of sparkling wine from Jay are, uh, you know, really have that beautiful uh, imparting of a small percentage of Pinot Meunier. So look at this coloration here, just this beautiful delicate uh, hint of pink salmon coloration and uh, it's absolutely beautiful so on this uh, and I serve this always in a burgundy glass because I want to really characterize this wine completely and fully I really recommend uh, you do the same to really get that imparting characteristic that flavor signature so you're really experiencing the wine to its fullest so a lot of people prefer a sparkling wine flute because uh, it's really going to characterize in terms of a lot of bubble action. On this, I'm really giving them some bubble action for some beautiful scent characterization. And sometimes I mix it up and I'll have, uh, you know, both actually. Uh, but for me, uh, you know, often and most of the time, I'll definitely serve this in a burgundy glass. So on this, I'm getting scent characterization of strawberry, wild strawberry, raspberry, green citrus tones, tea, spring flowers, and a hint of seashells as well. Next is the flavor characterization, then the point score. So beautiful flavor characteristics on this one include wild strawberry, fresh heirloom apple, hint of apricot, passion fruit, and a delicate hint of rose petals and brioche. This wine is a 9.3 out of my 10.0 scale. I think this is 93 points out of 100 points. Uh, but for me, uh, again, this is one of my favorite producers. And I'll put more information down below, so uh, be sure to click on that link and uh, if you go. And I definitely recommend a visit. If you so this is a great place to start uh, your sparkling wine journey in California. Thank you again for watching me today. Let's connect on a variety of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you again. Salud.